Hey there guys, welcome back to the new player walkthrough series for the Cycle Frontier. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off in episode 7, uh, where we just died to a marauder. Uh, in today, in episode 8, we're going to be pushing on to try to unlock the flechette and get a PvP kill with the Maelstrom. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, on a side note, I'm going to be trimming down the length of the videos by about half, so it should be about half an hour instead of an hour. Uh, and moving on to more of a daily upload instead of like a bi-daily thing. So if you enjoy that, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and like the video and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Here are your awards, I just need to go and pick up one more derelict explosive. Hey, we got a flechette from that. The ICA thanks you, Prospector. Oh, I didn't check my XP. I reckon I got 70 Fortuna Pass XP for completing that. Let's see what level the flechette is actually unlocked. It's 12, okay. So this is the last raid I got from like episode 2, I think it was. And we had some blue stuff too. There's no reason for me not to be running the, the blue armor, I've just been running green the whole time. But yeah, no reason at all. I think I'm going to focus on trying to get that uh, derelict explosive back and maybe try to pick up some pure focus crystals. Um, outside of that, let's go check out quarters, see if there's anything we were close to for the quarters. Oh, and we need two more Azure tree bark for our like, actual quarters upgrade. And two more hydraulic pistons. Okay, so. A couple of tree bark and a couple of pistons and we can get two more things going. Let's jump on over to the falls again and we'll try to get that derelict explosive. Any fallen tree. <laughs> let's, let's try to pick up some more pale ivy blossoms again. And continuously chain that job, that would be amazing. Blue runner, eh? Nice. Alright, so, because we also have the pure focus crystals to grab, there's a bunch of focus crystals up on the western side, like, all up here. Um, and there's a whole bunch of, like, industrial loot in mini favela down here and favela. Uh, and there's a few dumpsters down here, so there's a pretty good chance that if we go this path, we'll um, pick up the pure focus crystals we need, and also the... And also the uh, derelict explosives we need to. Oh, it's got some mature rattler eyes. Uh, might start picking up some more like money-related items as well, especially since we've got the the bigger bag. It's kind of at the point where. Uh, it's starting to make money and, and sell stuff to the shops are gonna very much so speed up our faction leveling process as well to try to get to that flesh shit. Nice, right, get some flesh there. Very good for money. Maybe someone's doing the dungeon and we're gonna get a maelstrom kill like that. Can can dream as uh, some focus crystals up there. No dungeon is today. We oh, yeah, one node. <laughs> yes, we got the pure focus crystal. I uh, need one more. One more for that job to be completed, or that mission. There we go, is that derelict explosive as well? I didn't bring my key again, but if I did, I could have went down there to try for that. I don't really have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, there's a chance that some focus crystals up the back of the favela here, so maybe we go and check there for that, but outside of that we're kind of at like a stagnant point for questing just because basically PvP locked. 
this is where all the focus crystals have been hiding. No, they're still hiding. So one, two. You one pure emerald. Yes, nice. Uh, well, the only real reason I was on Crescent Falls now was because of the derelict explosive. It was quite quite a lot easier to pick one up from uh, Crescent Falls than it is on Bright Sands. But uh, now that that's done, I can probably jump on over to Bright Sands and hopefully get into some PvP. bunch of stuff there. Uh, finally brought in a big bag too, so it's gonna explain why we're getting a bunch of stuff. I got heaps of focus crystals, uh, enough to do, enough pure for focus on crystals part one to get done. Alright, I need to check this. Petuna Pass XP 680 out of 9, uh, 8, 8, 90, so 210. Prospect up. Claim that. Two ten pass XP gained. Yeah, see you. So we got to the next level. Flat. Oh, dick. Okay, it is how much it it says. I don't know why I claimed that. <laughs> I've been saying the whole time that I wasn't gonna claim any of the skins until the end. I was like, oh, bulldog skin. I'll take that. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Right, well, we got explosive delivery part one done as well. And then while we're up here, we're going to sell some mm -hmm, items yeah. to get our faction wrap up. Yeah, but that's going to be level stand. 11. So we're on our last level before the flesh shut. So, explosive delivery. Oh, man. Don't let me keep you. Really need to get these prospector kills done, though. Ah, it's annoying. So I've got just got a mission to go to the um, Pinnacle Labs location on Crescent Falls, which is an easy mission to, to do, but I want to get these PvP kills done. Oh, she's getting so close. <laughs> I not really realise how much how much like just junk I've been accumulating. Right, so we're only 1,500 away from the flechette being unlocked. What does this quest give us? Ah, you're back. So that's going to give us 50. That's not... 750. So this quest and then the next quest would be... Level 12. Hey, you spawned over on the western side of the map. I'm going to need to go to Pinnacle Labs over there. Uh, pretty much just gonna go straight shot over. <clears throat> Might do a bit of a pit stop in at the warehouse location, see if we can find some more suppressors and, and mods for our guns, but that's gonna be about it. Uh, gonna need to push any shot that we come across. We need kills with the Maelstrom and an ICO weapon. We have the Lacerator as our long range weapon so anyone we come across and kill with either weapon would be great rat the kill done that job for like three raids now yeah, it's not, not really ideal and way too long with that one especially when the the other easies are so easy Yes, another suppressor. Yeah, was that a helmet? A little helmet, blue one. Oh yeah, I'll take that. I find it so strange that they changed the helmet models too. But now they um, they don't have any colour associated with them when they're on the ground. This looks very odd and out of the place. Out of the place? Out of the place. That, that was looted. Oh man, this loot bug is super annoying. Yeah. 
Hey, Savage Marauder Flesh, hell yeah. Need one of those for a quarters upgrade later, so that's quite quite nice to pick that up. Still gonna be making our way up to the Nickel Labs. I'm quite bad for actually utilizing my safe pockets, um, and I don't, I don't really think about it too much, to be honest. Small suppressor. Other small suppressor. Yeah, like, this is what I was saying. Usually you come here and just get suppressors everywhere. But every other time I've, I've come here, it's been very, very dry on, on suppressors. This house key is one that we did not have, so it's good. Another suppressor. What a surprise. We need to stop taking the old currency. It doesn't give you any faction rep, and I have more than enough money. It's just a habit at this point. What's up, Spoon? I thought you were juice. This is my new account, I see. I have given away um, something to the tune of about 50 Arbiters, 20 Basilisks, maybe 100 Brutes and Cores. I uh, think maybe 20, uh, 20 purple sets, uh, 10 exo sets, uh, and I still have like 15 million K marks and a bunch of shit on my other account. Alright, so for the frozen scientists, we need to get into that building right there. So, let's see if I can get any more focus crystals. Nope, no pures. Oh, damn. It's a bunch of focus crystal nodes here. No pures. Unlucky. Check out the suppressor in there. The game is fun. Yes. <laughs> it is especially dead on uh, on OCE though. Alright, it's so coming into the Pinnacle Labs, gonna run past everything. Keep on running. Just keep on zooming past everything into this room and jump out the window. Done. <laughs> hey, you guys weren't supposed to come down here. Wait, get our stamina back. Alright, cheers, Icy. Fuck. Alright, well that's, that's the only thing I needed to do here. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's leave, I guess. Gonna go down to Skeleton Observation. Uh, gonna try and pick up an Azure Tree Bark and two more pistons for our quarters upgrade. We can, we can try to do that. Pistons we're almost definitely going to find right here. This little shack. There you go, there's one. There's two. Easy. Because we're going to use 12, I might as well pick up a bunch to replenish my, my stack. Yeah, that's a, a big thing that I've noticed um, with a lot of new players, is that PvP sort of halts progression. Um, so i played a lot of the, the Tarkov wipe so far, and like you can sink a good amount of hours before you get to something that requires you to actually kill another player. Um, but in this game, like one of the most common forms of advice you're going to hear is to focus Osiris here and get to green stems. And to do that, you actually need to do two separate PvP quests um, in the second lot of, of quest lines. And the first lot of quest lines will take you like an hour at most. <laughs> it's nothing. What are you doing, Jeffrey? I just want to loot this. That's all. That's it. Okay, I'm out of here. 
and it's something that I brought up to the devs where like you get PvP locked really really quickly and for me in this series it's been quite the pain uh, mostly because it's just kind of hard to actually find people <laughs> but um, I, I know that at the beginning of a wipe there's going to be a lot more people so obviously those quests are going to be easier to complete but for people just trying out the game they're going to be coming up against people more experienced than them and it's just going to be frustrating like imagine you're just getting killed by like striders and, and rattlers over and over and over and uh, you, then you still have to try and get uh, PvP on top of that and it comes so early I never noticed it until I, I played this series. I didn't notice a lot of things until I played this season series. Recently found a love for the Scarab. It's actually a really good early gun. Yeah, it's very good. Um, it was nowhere near as good as it as it was uh, until this season when they they changed the like reload time. Oh, not the reload time, but the refire time. It just it's basically full auto now. It's kind of kind of nuts. Alright, we got a shitload of suppressors from that one. Another pure effect crystal. Uh, Savage Marauder Flesh as well. We picked up heaps of good stuff. Uh, but for what we actually needed, we needed some hydraulic pistons for our quarters and we just did that simple, simple quest of checking out the frozen scientist. Manticore is still really good and fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, population control was the job. And explosive delivery part two, the quest. Is there something you need? I had full confidence in you, of course. All right, that's done. We got a skeleton key from that one. Laser show is going to be the next ah, one. What do we good. need for that? I need that done soon. Metallic alloys. Yes. Okay. So we can do that on bright sands. <laughs> Thank fuck. Uh, Six hundred is not going to be enough to get us to level twelve, but we should get enough stuff to actually. Well, good work, prospect. Push through by selling some shit. Awesome. A level 42 on the Fortuna Pass. I love it when these chain together like this. I had full confidence in you, of course. Hey, we got more Pale Ivy Blossom ones to hand in there too. I had full confidence in you, of course. I think that's the Rattlers or something else. Rattlers. Okay. Hmm. All right. See if we can actually find someone in, in Bright Sands. Okay, so coming in, we are straight after a storm. Uh, we need metallic alloys and one azure tree bark. Alright, so we can expect to find some metallic alloys from the Southwest Collection here. Um, we can also go to Water Facility and Science Campus for that, or Eastern Collection Point. Um, I think it might go to the East Collection Point, simply because we've got some Azure Tree Bark to, to pick up to. There we go, there's some Metallic Alloys there. Stash in here I had no idea about. Right, there's a couple of Rattlers towards our task. Um, should, yeah, there we go, there's another Metallic Alloy. Generally, I don't really find too much metallic alloys at the science campus, so I'll just push straight up to the East Collection Point instead. Alright, metallic alloys, where are you hiding? Still haven't heard anyone evac or, or drop in, so OCE, pretty dead. It's like 2.40 on a Saturday, so I'd imagine... Well, I'm not seeing any metallic alloys over here, which is a bit sad. Still need two, three, four, something like that. Four. Sometimes I can spawn down here on these racks. No. Not even the stash is going to come through for me. Yeah, I was coming up here because I need one more Azure Tree Bark for a quarters upgrade. There we go, that's the one I need. YouTube videos aren't going that great though, because um, no one wants to sit through like an hour long. Fuck. <laughs> in the cycle. But uh, it's definitely helped out quite a few people as well, which has been great, so 
Hopefully we see some new people with season three that ain't gonna stick around. There we go, I got two from that. Oh look at that. Thank you for the suggestion. Now we're gonna need uh, more metallic alloys in the future, so not a bad idea to, to pick some up. I'm gonna do a quick pass back through water facility, see if I can pick up anything else that I need. I have a shit ton of space. Now right, we got our metallic alloys from that and the Azure tree bark and not much else. Lasers show part one and population control. Uh, those two coupled with selling a bit of stuff is going to get us level 12 and it's going to unlock the flechette for us finally. Ah, you're back. Well, good work, Prospector. Hey, we got level 43 in the Fortuna Pass as well. Claim that one. Ah, just in time. Thanks, Prospector. Well, good work, Prospector. Alright, well, the. Alright, assigning that work to <clears> you. <throat> Very well. The flechette was the goal for this, like right now, to just unlock that. So now we've got two, I think? Yeah, we've got two in here already. Unfortunately, I'm still not really able to use it. <laughs> so, what I had planned was I was going to unlock the flechette so I can use it um, with Darius Island when I got to Darius Island. I, I have unlocked Darius Island with two of the three quest lines. So I've unlocked it with uh, the ICA and Osiris. I still need to unlock it with Korolev to actually, for me, to actually um, be allowed to go there for this walkthrough. I wanted to unlock it with all three factions Greetings. before I before I went. Why is this guy still got something? Oh. It's right. the one. Assigning that work to you. Rocket mushrooms and magic growth fertilizer and azure tree bark. On, well, we got a shitload of azure tree bark, magic grow, and indigenous fruit to farm, so we can either go to Crescent Falls and farm around like the neutron farm stuff, or hang around the woodcut camp in Bright Sands. And I think woodcut camp's going to be the play, just because I still. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> now I need circuit boards too. <laughs> I did not think about that. I just handed those in. Ah, god damn it. We got enough ammo. Let's jump back into Bright Sands and we will farm circuit boards. There's your tree bark, magic growth fertilizer, and the indigenous fruit. So we're going to be hanging around base camp, uh, woodcutter camp, and probably waterfall labs. It's going to be like our little section. The next couple of raids. So you need eight. Eight circuit boards, twelve more azure tree bark, like twenty-five bloody magic grow and a dozen about a dozen uh fruits. Quite a lot of stuff. The swamp. I think I can really get anything with them that I want from the swamp here. That's perfect. We've got our evac up at Waterfall Labs, so we'll go base camp, we'll cut a camp, Waterfall Labs. I actually pitched an idea uh, about two months ago. The timing of it was actually quite funny to me, because uh, Tarkov did the exact th thing that I suggested like two weeks later. Um, but like, amalgamating servers. So basically, for the Oceanic region, um, we would play on the same server as everyone in like Southeast Asia and, and that as well. Uh, in a centralized location of like, it was Singapore. Um, it'd be like 120 ping at most from like Western Australia over there. Uh, but it'd bring like, you know, six or seven separate servers together to actually like properly populate servers. Right, sucker boards. Oh, of course you would shoot in there like, like that. There's one, there's two.
Yeah, I'm SV. I'm in Australia. Three circuit bullets, five to go. Am I looking at a, at a dead drop? Shannon's Q, already got one of them. Don't need another. Alright, let's head on over to Woodcutter Camp. And we shall try find some Zero Tree Bark, Magic Rope Fertilizer and stuff. Hey, I got full grip, take that. Metallic Alloys. I'm pretty sure there's a quest coming up where we need 20 of them, so it's not a bad idea to be stacking a heap. I think that's about it for Zero Tree Bark at the Woodcutter Camp. We might find a few more in the Waterfall Labs area though. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we didn't get enough circuit boards to, to go quarters upgrade. But one minute short. Got a bunch of shit, though. That's a whole lot of tree bark and magic grow and stuff. Got our job done for the five rat kills. Hmm, yes. Get that in. Hopefully we can chain a few uh, oh, yeah, power lively blossom there. Then. And then maybe we can get the optic glass after it too. Alright, assigning that work to you. Oh, I'm out of freaking power lively blossoms. Is that all? Oh wait, I've got mm, number twelve. Yes. What's my hard job? Yes! Dr. Glanz, nice. Here are your rewards, Been stacking then. them for that exact moment. <laughs> It's the next hard one. Marauders with an SMG. That's a good one. I like that one. But uh, I really do need to get this Maelstrom kill, man. I want to keep hold of that um, SMG one for the Marauders when I'm actually done with this Maelstrom kill. So I can yeah, move on to it. And I think the jobs are due to reset very shortly. Alright, my base camp, we can quickly pick up our last circuit board here, very quick, very easy. Ah, well lovely, it's just started to rain, so we're in the middle of a... This is the same raid I was just in. <laughs> that K-28 was, the, was there. <laughs> Come on, man. That's our last circuit board we needed anyway. Well, I never actually saw anyone drop in, so the chances that there's people here is probably going to be pretty, pretty slim. It's going to be like that, might as well pick up the K-28 and drop it to reset it. So if you've got to be like frequenting the, the same areas of a map like this, uh, then it's very much so worth your time picking up the loose uh, spawning guns like that and then dropping them, even if you don't want them, simply because they won't respawn to a new gun unless they get picked up. I wonder if all this stuff had respawned yet or not. It hasn't. I'm following myself. I can't go over to the woodcutter camp because I won't get anything because the loot hasn't respawned. <laughs> Man, <laughs> come on. We can go and evac. Where is that going to? I no idea where it's gone through, I'm, I'm guessing. Big guess. Waterfall Labs, no! Please stay. I can't get there in time. Like, it's, it's not even close, but... It's yellow, so they're not even in the area if they stayed. So he didn't stay, man. Well, hmm. I can get out. I can. I can start my quarters upgrade going. Um, might actually do that, and then come back into like a fresher raid, and then go do uh, like a jungle run, and more specifically for like the uh, breakout mushrooms than than anything. <laughs> so it's gonna be weird going to the jungle for the breakout mushrooms, but yeah. 
need more gyroscope now, so that could actually be something I'm going for as well. We can get gyroscopes in the jungle. I can see it now. I'm going to spend so many hours trying to find someone. I'm just going to die instantly to them. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened last time. Last time I tried to find so many people and then I seen someone drop over here. They turned out to be a cheater, which is quite, quite odd. The one person I see in forever turned out to be a cheater. Hey, okay, out again. Bunch of loot, got enough to start our quarters upgrade going. Just can't find anyone. Alright, let's dump all our stuff across. And uh, let's get this rolling and then we'll see if I can do something else. Or some other kind of loot that I can... <laughs> I just sold that too. <laughs> oh, I'm going crazy with this one. There's so many more people in the station now too. Just need that one kill. One kill with the Maelstrom. And then I can progress with it. I have no idea what's after it, but then I can compress that uh, progress with it. <laughs> it's Saturday, right? It is Saturday. Ah. I thought it was a little odd that three o'clock is uh when school finishes here in Australia and heap of people just decide to log on at 3 o'clock. It was shots! It was people! God man, I'm going crazy. I thought it like... Ow, fuck. I genuinely thought that it was the um... The luggage container closing was the noise I heard. Yeah. So I want the Maelstrom kill. I'm gonna play a little bit of range and hopefully get some damage on him. It sounded like a manticore. In that building just up ahead. I like you just got hurt there. I feel bad. He looked straight at me. <laughs> he was reloading. I needed that, man. I needed that. Oh, it's done. It's finally done. He looks straight at me, dude. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is that? <laughs> oh, dude. I'm still going to the jungle. Fuck it. I need to get three Marauder plates, bone plates, but... What was that? <laughs> My man was getting hurt by the ticks. He was struggling. Oh. I don't think I've felt so bad killing someone in a long time. Be back. That's at the jungle there. There's actually people! No way. Crazy. One more now, there he is. There's the big boy. There we go. Like a stash over here so we can get any goodies. A grenade. Well, the rain is coming in. Um, hmm. So to get one more bone plate from a marauder. And we're gonna go and check the crashed ship. 
for a gyroscope over here and then we'll make our way to evac and uh, get out of here autoloader that's not a gyroscope what are you doing <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Oh, this raid. It's all coming together, this one. Hell yes. There we go. It's the three we needed. Let's get out of here. Oh, alright. It finally happened. Finally got the Maelstrom kill. We got the gyroscope. We got the bone plates. We got three mushrooms. It was a good day. A very, very, very good day. <laughs> I feel very bad about killing that guy though. How many have? Like ten... Ten medkits on him? Maybe not ten, maybe seven. And that is a powerful discovery part two done. Finally. Finally. How can Korolev help? Please don't give me any more PvP missions, Korolev. I don't like them from you. Find the missing engineer, hunt creatures around him, and deliver evidence of Letium. Alright, that is on Crescent Falls. We got time for it's more work as an option one. Done. Hunt Rattlers and Marauders in. Ah, just in time. Thanks, Prospector. Everything is crystals is our next quest line. For that, that. Pure Veltisite and clear Veltisite. That is going to be a pain in the ass to do. Was that all? <laughs> ah, yeah. This one. Yeah. <laughs> Memory like a goldfish. <laughs> uh, so, need a bunch of nickel for that. That's going on. Tier 4 isn't really going to get me thing. Can do that at tier 4. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the end of episode 7. That's a great way to, to end it. So, uh, this is going to be the end of the stream, guys, but I'm going to be on for a little bit later. Um, I'm going to be giving away... A little bit later. Giving... I'm going to be on for a little bit longer um, on my main account, just giving away some, some loot. Uh, if you want some, like, Brutes, Arbiters, or whatever, if you want to, you know, like, try out a specific gun, if you don't think you're going to get there, by the time the season ends, add me in game, tell me what you want, and I will give you whatever you want, pretty much. 